Hey, what is happening? My name is LaPrentice Sampson and I help health conscious consumers replace toxic products in their life so they can achieve true wellness. In today's video, we're gonna see, is smart water bad for you, all right? And so I'm gonna show you seven things that you need to know about smart water to let you make the decision to see if smart water is truly bad for you. Ready to get started? Before we do, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so you get more tips, tricks, and tactics to improve your overall wellness. All right, without further ado, let's get started. The first thing we wanna look at um, with smart water to determine if it's actually bad for you is we want to look at its oxidation potential, all right? And this is very important for one big reason, and that is we don't wanna get old. Free radicals are all around us, and these free radicals they're in the air that we breathe, they're in uh, the pollution, they're in some of the foods that we eat, and they come in to our body and they take away the electrons that are in our healthy cells. This leads to oxidation, which also leads to inflammation, and those two things are linked to every single health disease known to man. So if you want to get older quicker, you want to oxidize, which means you want to consume things that are positively charged, and it's going to create rust and inflammation in the body. So any type of itis that you may have, may or may not have, anyone that you know that is dealing with an itis, it's probably because they have a lot of oxidation in them. And so the water that we're consuming, it should not be oxidizing, it should be antioxidant. It should be the same as our fruits and vegetables, our vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E. So let's check out the smart water and see how it does as far as antioxidants. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use an ORP meter. And ORP stands for Oxidative Reduction Potential. And once again, this meter will let me know if our smart water is oxidizing, it'll be a positive number. And if it's an antioxidant, it'll be a negative number. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And let's get it stirred around in there. Let's see, what, what score do we see? 159, 160, all right? And so, that number is positive, and so it is oxidizing us. That means it's making us older, it's creating more sickness and disease in the body. All right, so that's just one thing that we're looking out for out of the seven things that we know that's wrong with smart water when it comes to, is smart water bad for you? So let's take a look at another one. All right, next up, when it comes to finding out is smart water bad for you, we want to look at the acidity of the water, okay? Our water should be either alkaline or acidic. Actually, it should be either acidic or alkaline. Same thing, right? But the main thing is, are we consuming things that are actually eating the electrolytes in our body? Or are we consuming things that are actually keeping our body in an alkaline state, preventing the cause of disease and sickness in our body? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these pH drops. I'm gonna put a few drops in the water and see what color it turns. If it turns a red, an orange, or a yellow, that means it's acidic. And it is eating electrolytes in our body and eating the minerals that we need, okay? And of course, this is horrible because if we continue to consume acidic things, it's gonna to start to show up in us. If we're not eating enough alkaline and consuming more acidic, if our body is not staying in that alkaline environment, we're gonna start seeing our skin. Our skin's gonna start cracking and drying up we're going to start to get it removed from our joints, bones, and ligaments. Joints, bones, and ligaments. And that's how osteoporosis happens and it's how we start cracking. When we get up and we start to stretch, if we continue to let that happen, this is how we get Alzheimer's because it's going to start taking our minerals and everything from our brain. So let's see what color we get. Alrighty, so we currently have a bluish color. So it looks like it's alkaline, right? It looks like it's good for us. But let me show you something really quick. I am going to go into this drawer and pull out a straw. And the reason why is because this water is doing a great job at appearing like it's alkaline, okay? So I'm gonna add some oxidation, some acidity 
into the water to see if it actually combats it the way that a good alkalizing product should. Okay, so let's see what happens when I show, when I blow into this water and see what color it turns. So as you see, the water turned from blue to yellow, which means it actually is oxidizing. And there's things that are added into here, which we'll talk about later, that made it appear like it's good for us when it actually isn't. So this water is truly acidic, and we'll get into why in just a moment. The third thing you need to know to determine is smart water bad for you is if it actually hydrates you. Most bottled waters can only hydrate someone about 15%. And so it takes even more water to get the same hydration you would get from a much better water. And a great way to show that example is by using this tea bag. So what I'm gonna do is use a tea bag because it's dehydrated, right? And it needs water to actually get into it in order to pull out the nutrients and essentially make tea. Now I know what you're thinking. You're like, Laprentis, this is not how you make tea. You have to boil the water. Well, why? It's because the water molecules get so small that they're actually able to go through the tea bag and pull out the nutrients. And this is, we shouldn't have to do this to get hydrated. Our cells should be able to, because they're interchained, they're interlocked, you should be able to pour water and actually give your cells the nutrients that they need. So, as you can see, just like we all predicted, it's not providing any tea, right? But you're thinking, well, Laprentis, there's not a water that would do that. Well, what if I showed you that there is a water that would do that? Let me just go ahead and put this here. Let's see what we get. And as you see, there is a water that can make actual tea and it's cold, like it's not, there's nothing wrong with it. And I know what you're probably thinking, you're like, Laprentis, the bag was wet. Go ahead and try it again. So I'm going to go ahead and try it again with the smart water and just show you that. Yeah, it's about 15%, right? <laughs> so it's not really hydrating you. So why are we drinking it if it's not hydrating us? If you're thirsty, smart water is not that smart at actually hydrating you. In fact, if the water was small enough, if it was good, then you should be able to just take a little bit of the water. Now think about this. If you were taking supplements, if you're taking medications, don't you want it to get into your bloodstream just a little bit faster? And we using just the right water, you can actually hydrate yourself better. And so clearly smart water, another reason why it's bad for us, is it actually isn't hydrating us. It sits in our stomach and then we just go ahead and evacuate it when we go to the bathroom. It doesn't actually get into your cells and hydrate you at a cellular level. All right, another thing that you must consider when you're trying to figure out is smart water bad for you are the chemicals that's in this and how this water is made, all right? So just to let you know, if, I don't know if you looked at the ingredients and there really shouldn't be ingredients to water, it should just be water, but there's ingredients to smart water. <laughs> so it is vapor distilled water. And if you don't know what that means, that means they boiled the water. They took regular water or wherever they got the water, they boiled it, turned it into a steam, it rose up and they captured that steam, took it over to another device or another container and they let it drip in. So this is vapor distilled. And so when you do that process, when you take the steam, guess what you leave behind? Of course you leave behind the bad stuff, all the, the toxins and things like that, but you also leave behind the minerals, the natural minerals that were in the water that your body loves. Okay, so that's why the water was showing up yellow before because it's acidic it doesn't have anything in it it's essentially dead water but to make things worse things are added into this water so they put back in calcium chloride magnesium chloride and both of those are salts right and so when we think about salts and we take things in that are too salty guess what we feel thirsty right <laughs> so that keep that in mind and then the last thing is potassium bicarbonate Potassium bicarbonate is an alternative for sodium bicarbonate, which is essentially baking soda. All right, so why are we adding these things into the water? Okay, these are things that when added and you're drinking these for a large consumption actually can lead to health issues, which we're actually going to talk about next.
Another thing to consider when it comes to determining is smart water bad for you is the health issues that has evolved with drinking too much alkaline water, right? And so this is alkaline water because of the chemicals. This is chemically altered. Um, and so because of that, those chemicals do not always sit well with the body. You, know, you can lead to vomiting, you can lead to acidosis and some other things that you just don't want to have. In addition to that, it's sitting in this bottle. In this not so strong plastic bottle, okay? And so because this water is a scavenger, and is sitting in the bottle. I don't know if you've ever, if you ever drank water from a bottle that's been sitting in the car too long or just been sitting out in the sun. It tastes like plastic, right? So that's because the plastic, water's a scavenger, and plastic starts to mix in with the water, and this creates a carcinogen known as xenoestrogen. Guess what? 75% of men and women who have breast cancer have too much xenoestrogen in their body. So this bottled water creates that. So another reason why we shouldn't be drinking it. And you don't know when this bottled water was made. It could have been, pretty sure it wasn't made within the month. It could have been made months ago. In fact, this one was produced in 2019. 0622, so June, 22nd, 2019, and I'm just now getting it. Think about that. Last but not least, when it comes to smart water and if it's bad for us, not only is it not improving our health, not only is it making us oxidize, it is acidic, it has these chemicals that build up in our body that it doesn't know how to handle, not only does it create carcinogen known as xenoestrogen, but we're paying for this. Like, why are we paying for health issues? Why are we paying to make ourselves sicker? Why are we paying for inadequate hydration? We're paying, on average, about a dollar. I would say a dollar fifteen per bottle of smart water. So we're paying for this on a financial level too. So is smart water bad for you? It's definitely not good for you, I would say that. So you're probably thinking, okay, LaPrentice, you showed me a lot of stuff. Well, then what is a good water? There's so many bottled waters out there. There's so many different kinds of waters. There's distilled, there's reverse osmosis. What kind of water should I be drinking if I truly care about my health? That is a great question. So I highly recommend you head over to my website, LaPrenticeSampson.com, and check out a resource I have for you, which is on the five key properties every healthy water must have. Okay, when it has all five of those properties, it is actually great for our body. Our body loves it. It allows us to push out toxins and actually allow the body to do what it can do best, which is heal itself. So once again, check that out at LaPrentisSampson.com. And if you like this video, if you have questions, feel free to shoot me a message in the comments below. And one more thing, make sure to subscribe so you can learn more about the products that we use that we shouldn't be using that's actually gonna help improve our wellness. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.